focused on, uh, you know, my camera off so much is because I'm moving around, you know, trying to get books, trying to write down stuff, um, uh, find my next point that I want to bring out to y'all. And I don't want to be a distraction. Um, and also, you know, sometimes my kids will come up or my husband may come up. So I don't want to be a distraction. But I know you guys would like somebody uh, told me or quite a few people said, Cherry, I would love to see your face. You have a beautiful face. We would love to see you interact a little bit more. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to definitely try to do that with you guys. Um, and because I seen that you uh, your response were. Uh, was a little bit more closer. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, now, I'm not going to do it as much with the scriptures because with the scriptures, I believe that I want you to focus on God's word, not on cherry love. I'm nobody. Um, but God's word is everything, 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 right? Um, so anyway, uh, this was a, a conversation that Killer B was having with a gentleman um, on Sunday. And he asked me to come in Lord have mercy. Um, and Killer B set me up. <laughs> he, yeah, you did, sir. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you know you did. Uh, you know what you did. And <laughs> he said, Cherry, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need you to come on. So I, I, I bring my tail up there. And um, not knowing what I'm walking into. Um, and I went up there. Um, yeah, so... I'm just going to let you hear it for yourself. I'm going to start where Killer B and him is talking. And I want I want you to get a small appetizer about uh, what you're about to deal with right now, what, what we're about to deal with, okay? Uh, just brace yourself, okay? You think yesterday, old girl was bad. This dude is bad, but he fell hard. Like That's why I said Hebrew Israelites fall hard. That was, yesterday was part one. This is part two. So here we go, family. Check this out. And then black, what did you say? No. <laughs> okay. But man is created out of a white, black, and red color man today. Our mixture is of those three colors. That's why you might see me. I look maybe brownish, little reddish. I might see my but, neighbor. He's he's black. But you, you know, can't say that God's that color. Um, he's a spirit. That right. Means, so but, he he black. He white. He red. Yes, he is because he created us in his image. But but yeah, but that don't mean we, we we are, is, if you ever said the matrix system, that's God. He created Satan so that the evil Satanists can. Be Satan like that's why you have murders and killers and rapists and uh people because they just got the devil and they just <laughs> they just want pain and suffering. They want you to die because you goody goody two shoe. They want me to die because goody goody two shoe. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I feel you, yeah. I feel I'm you. Like, but I um yeah. My, my now the cherry love you go know, so you know who Cherry I mean, Love is? Uh, you ever been on Cherry Love's channel? No, no, no. All right, Cherry Love. Uh, come on, Cherry. Yeah, it is different, Corn Godal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The whole show just went left. I like. I got a couple of videos like this. The title ain't got nothing to do with what we was talking about. It ain't got nothing to do with it. So well, like yeah, but you know I learned not to come on straight Bible. I've been off a long time ago. So no, I know the whole thing. Like you, you got, you got, you got your thing. You got to do this so stuff. I, I, yeah. I get it. So you know what I'm saying? Sharing a little bit of me and I was waiting for it. I was waiting. I was like, yo, where's the punchline, yo? And I was like, yo, <laughs> well, my battery died. I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> I wrote it down. Literally, when I think of you, I have. A came across you be eating Hebrews up because you come back come across as a, really a non-believer and atheist. I have member come across you. I said that's Kelly okay, I know okay. You have eating people up because you don't believe. I do I, I have a, a, a Western I, I would say I have a Western 
sense now, spirit uh, sense. I don't know if that's the right thing to say uh, of a spirituality of, or like whatever you would want to call it, religion or whatever. Are your kids? Like, are your are your? But is, but but with a- African African roots to it, I would say that. Are you like Jamaican? Nah nah nah. I'm straight up Black American. So so your parents you say came to trade trade. Are yeah, you a slave descendants? In yeah. other words, did yeah. they write Negro on your birth certificate? Yeah, yeah. Negro on my birth certificate. Okay, same as I. That's who all yep. reparations. Right. We're Negro, because we are really natives to this country before America was established. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm more on what we were dealing with on, on a religious kind of view, what we were dealing with mm-hmm. prior to. Hey, Sister Cherry. Hey, Brother Killaby. How are you? Good, good. We got Josh up out here. What up, Josh? Hey, family. What's up, Josh? Oh, he was got on mute. He got on mute. Sister Cherry. Uh huh. This hey, girl, brother hey, Kurt, hey, hey. Judah Israel. Well, I, I was trying to do my um, House of Israel video. This brother came on and stuff. And he was interesting, like, no, I mean, he, he older than me and stuff. So he uh-huh. told me it's just a little story to the Hebrew Israelite, and then it just kind of spun over into like other stuff. But, um, he's Hebrew Israelite, he's in his 50s, uh-huh. right? And he was telling me his walk and stuff, how he became, yeah, start start at that, let, let her know, and, oh, no. and give her your spiel. She, she's a Christian yeah. apologist. Oh, okay, so right, Christian. It's like, you know, my church, my, my mother's Christian. She, I couldn't convince her to be a Hebrew. And I told her, I said, Mom, you know, you're kind of divine like Mary, because, you know, I would think of myself highly, you know what I mean? She said, Boy, I want a virgin when I hit you, you know what I mean? So I, so she didn't want, she, she saw herself as a Gentile. So do you see yourself as a Gentile? Or do you see yourself as a Hebrew Israelite? I see myself as a child of God. I'm a Christian. I'm a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. And but still, are you a Gentile or a Hebrew Israelite? Because the children of Israel look <laughs> special in the Bible. According, I'm going to mute. <laughs> according to according to John one eleven, is not by blood nor by the will of flesh, but by the will of God that I have the right to call myself a child of God. Because I've received Jesus Christ, so I don't need all of that. Try again. No, the twelve tribes of Israel, Book of Revelation, said. Yeah. Why did he mark 12,000 in each tribe if he was not bringing the Hebrew Israelites to the front of his kingdom of heaven? According- now, hold on, fam. This is the second time. It's the second time in the beginning of the conversation, just like with Faithful and Neftali. The, uh, the, when we get on to this, the first thing that they bring out is what? The 144,000. I don't know why they keep doing this. I don't know why they keep appealing to that. But again, even with that, I'm going to show you one more time, right? We showed this yesterday. Revelation chapter what? 14 regarding what? 144,000. Um, he ruled himself out. Okay. Now, earlier on, I did get a chance to listen to a little bit of it earlier on. The man said that he's married. Well, what does it say about the 144,000? That they have not been what? Defiled with women, right? They And they are what? Virgins. So he's already ruled out. I don't know why a family for the life of me, and, and please believe me, I don't understand why. Maybe because when they look at Revelation 7, 1 through 8, uh, is naming off 12,000 from each tribe of Israel. They think that that is, the, uh, that is the major qualification. No, it's not. This is the qualification right here from Revelations chapter 14, verses one through five. It tells you that number one, that they know a new song, right? That they will sing around the throne. Number two, um, they were redeemed from the earth, okay? Number three, 
They're not defiled with women for they are virgins. Number four, they are which follow the lamb wherever he goeth, right? Nine times out of 10, uh, um, some scholars, and I do believe that these are Christians, right? Because, um, hey, what's a believer called? A Christian, a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's really not hard to piece together. <laughs> Monette said, now what? Somebody please call 911. <laughs> already we only only we only like 20 minutes in sis you already calling the popos so and then hold on number five they are what men redeem uh from um uh, among men uh number six they are the first fruits uh unto the unto god and the lamb and what the last one number seven there is no guile found in their mouth now somebody tried to challenge me um, uh, in, um, uh, 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 in my email, uh, inbox, I'm sorry, my messenger to say, oh, God does not mean to lie, uh, or deceit. Uh, yes, it does. So I'm going to go here and show you that. I'm going to play it here in the, I mean, in the Greek. Strong's G 1388, Dallas, Dallas. Dallas. Okay. So Dallas here means what? Craft, deceit, guile. Uh, in the Strong's definition, uh, it's in a trick, wild craft, deceit, guile, subtitly, and it also means to lie um, uh, and all of that stuff. I mean, I guess you can say a, a whole list can go behind the word guile, so, or be guile, or guile, whatever, however you want to say it. Uh, so there's no guile found in these uh, these uh, uh, people's mouths, this 144,000. I, I guess the only thing that I can come up if y'all looking for me to give some type of reason of why they're appealing to 144 is because that the 144 is named from uh, the 12 tribes. That's the only reason I can see. OK, uh, other than that, when we look at the qualifications in Revelation 14, which they clearly bypass, because the only verse out of Revelation chapter 14 that they use is verse 12. Right. Keep the command. The, these are they that um, are the patience of the saints. These are the ones who keep the commandments of God. But it's not even talking about the law of Moses. These people are under the impression that this is talking about the law of Moses. And it's not. In fact, those very commandments that uh, that the angel uh, shouts out. Uh, in Revelation chapter 14 is found within Revelation chapter 14. Uh, uh, when we uh, bypass uh, the 144, their qualification, uh, number one, the gospel, the everlasting gospel that the first angel has, right? That's being still preached by the angels because the church is gone at this point. Number two, uh, to uh, fear God and give him glory, right? That's another commandment that has been given. Uh, number three, oh, and to, basically to worship him. Number three, don't worship the beast, right? Don't uh, don't worship the beast. Don't take the uh, mark of the beast um, and, uh, and all of that other stuff. So basically, really technically, four major commandments are really given here. Um, uh, or if you want to add verse nine and 10, I guess, uh, technically really four major commandments is given at the time of Revelation 14. So I don't understand why they try to use Revelation chapter 12, right? This one right here, uh, and trying to make that the law of Moses. This is clearly not the law of Moses. Uh, the the uh, commandments that are given is already right here in this book. And it's telling those people who are left on the earth um, what to do. Uh, the everlasting gospel. So the gospel is still there. Don't take the mark of the beast. Don't fall and worship the image of the beast, right? Worship and give God glory. Um, and I forgot what the other one was. Uh, uh, and yeah, those are, those are the major ones. So uh, again, I don't, I, 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 but it's, let me stop saying, I don't know. Uh, partly it's to push their faulty agenda, basically. That, that's what it is. Um, and then uh, going back to my first point regarding the 144,000 uh, verses one through five, give you the qualification of what the 144,000 is. It, I, I, he just disqualified himself, just 
like Naphtali. She's a female, right? Uh, number two, she doesn't know the new song. Uh, number three, we definitely know that there is guile and deceit in her mouth because she was lying all night long in that video that we recap, right? And this man does the same thing. So both of them, we got a male Hebrew Israelite and a female Hebrew Israelite literally rule themselves out. How do you do that? Why do you do that? Right? Like, you would think that they would get it, but they don't, right? So he started there just like Neftali started the same way with Brother Faithful. Guess what? A lot of them do this, right? So when they start out that way, right, this should be, I mean, this should be a piece of cake for you. When they start with the, uh, with the 144,000, march on over to Revelation chapter 14, one through five, and cut that up, right? And then after you cut that up, they're gonna do the very same thing that Neftali did on last night and what this guy is about to do. They're gonna jump off the subject because now, oh, she know or he know. This Christian, <laughs> this BBC, Bible believing Christian knows better, see? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Go ahead. Well, I mean, this is one thing that I kind of find interesting. Mm -hmm. None of them claim any other tribe but Judah, right? Mm -hmm. So there's only 12,000 that's going to make it according to them. Correct. Bless the heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yep, yep. I mean, they're they going to fight with the Jehovah Witnesses over the 144,000. There you go. There you go. Because according to the Jehovah Witnesses, that their governing body is the 144,000, right? And they are supposed to be the mediator between mankind and Jesus Christ. Then after Jesus is God the Father. And the Holy Spirit is just a force. That equals. Baby, that's a hot mess. <laughs> that's a hot mess, baby. And listen, Hebrew Israelites are using Jehovah Witness theology too, right? And of course, as we were talking about for the past couple of weeks, open theists, they're using Jehovah Witness theology. A lot of them are doing this. But you know what? I will say this. They're, they're borrowing from each other, right? We as Christians, we're not borrowing anything from them. We're not. We better not be, because as you can see, it's crazy. Don't make sense, right? So uh, it's off. It's not even. It's not even Bible anymore. 